get off that car. Show. Beat it. All right, you stupid ostrich. Get out and stay out. Just a minute, sir. That's no way to treat a helpless ostrich. Listen, mister, that bird is driving me nuts. You see that little car? She thinks it's an egg, and for two weeks she's been trying to hatch it. Now, I'm running a car lot, mister, not an incubator. Ah, oh, gee, Dave, she's broken hearted. She wants her egg. We gotta help her. I'm sorry, boys, there's nothing we can do. Ostriches can't hatch cars. Now let's go. Theodore, Simon, Alvin, I said let's go. Okay, Dave. Hey, Dave, wait a minute. This man wants to see ya. Ah, Mr. Savell. Yes? I'm sorry I didn't recognize you at first, sir. You're the man who writes those uh, records I'm so crazy about. Yes. He wants your autograph, Dave. Why, certainly. On that bottom line, Dave. Oh, thank you, sir. It's a pleasure. Come on, Alvin. Here's your contract, Dave. Contract? That's right, sir. You have just bought an egg. A car. I did what? I know you two will be very happy together. Alvin! Yes, Dave? What, Dave? Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Great Scott officer, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. I know, it's that guy who writes those nutty records. Oh, 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 oh. Fill her up. Uh, which one, sir? The egg, of course. Say. Aren't you the guy that writes those nutty records? Never mind that. Just fill her up. Oh, oh. Mama, look! Wilbur, don't stare. It's only that man who writes those nutty records. Alvin, you've disgraced me for the last time. It's bad enough tricking me into buying this car, but I'm not going to play chauffeur to that ostrich. I'll be the laughing stock. <laughs> Well, stop honking and come on around. This is impossible. That bird can't just sit on my car forever. <laughs> Maybe it'll hatch. Theodore, don't be ridiculous. I may be stuck with a car, but that ostrich has got to go. Dave, she might get cold outside. Can she hatch it in the house? Alvin! Okay. <laughs> Who stole my blanket, Simon? Theodore? Alvin! Good night, Henrietta. Oh, Alvin. All right, you. End of the line. You're getting off. You're very prudent, Mr. Seville. No car owner should be without insurance. Is that the car, sir? That's it. Right there. Is that part of the equipment? Unfortunately, yes. Mm. Let's see. Insure car without ostrich. Yes. <laughs> car with ostrich. No. Couldn't you make it a package deal? Car and ostrich? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's nothing in the book that covers car and ostrich, Mr. Seville. Can I even have fire insurance? Mr. Seville, ostriches are highly flammable. Good day, sir. And don't drive that car without insurance. It's illegal. Uh, by the way, aren't you the man who... Yeah! <laughs> I'll tell you what's the idea. 
The idea is no more TV until you get that ostrich off the car. But she's hatching it. Alvin, that ostrich couldn't hatch anything out of that car if she sat on it for a thousand years. Either you get that bird off that car or no more TV. You mean I can't even watch me? No, not for a year. But Dave... Make that two years. No TV for two years? Wowie! What are we gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. What, Alvin? I'm gonna think. I can't drive with the ostrich. I can't get her off the car. Gee, maybe it'll hatch. Oh. Dave, quick! Come outside! Something's happening to the car! Alvin, I'm about fed up with your tricks. But it's hatching! Alvin, that's impossible and you know it! Don't fight Mother Love, Dave. Hey, hurry up! Look! <laughs> it's going deep, deep, Dave! It's probably the fan belt. I'll just check the, uh... It's unbelievable! It's amazing! It's Hanukkah! It's Alvin! 